Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on adding a capture to Django Admin. So as a simple example here, we have a Django simple capture, and this is what we're going to implement specifically on the Django Admin. Now we cannot add this directly with one package alone, so using Django simple capture, because we have a very specific use case. So what we're going to have to do is use the Django multi-capture admin to in turn go ahead and ensure that we can easily utilize the recapture2 um, package here as you can see so with Django admin here we'll have the opportunity to add in this type of capture so this is a familiar one that most of you will see so on most websites we when you are submitting data on a form you will see you will have to click on this recapture here to say that you're not a robot and occasionally what will happen is it'll pop up with some boxes and you just have to complete the puzzle of sorts then of course there's the opportunity to just use the standard recapture right here which is quite uh, dated in my opinion but it is an option or what you can use is simple capture here. So this is what we're going to utilize just to keep it nice and simple. So just to break it down for you. So what we essentially are doing is we're going to add one of these captures to our Django admin and you have the opportunity to utilize either three of these packages. So simple capture, recapture, recapture two, but you cannot use them directly. You need to use them with the help of this package here called Django Multi Capture Admin. And this is gonna help you to specifically utilize any one of these three capture options here, these, these capture apps into Django Admin. So that's what we're going to do for this um, video tutorial. So as always, just make sure you have a simple Django project up and running. So I had just have a basic one here. I have like an app. I have, of course, my virtual environment here set and everything very basically organized. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that you want to do, of course, is you want to ensure that you install this package here called Django Multi Capture Admin. So what we can do is scroll down and we can go ahead and copy this and install Django Multi Capture Admin. And I just want to make it clear. Let me zoom in a bit more. Okay, it doesn't look so great. Let's zoom out. Okay, so we want to copy that and you want to stop your server and just paste in the following. So pip install Django multi capture admin. There we go. So make sure you've installed that package. Great. So the next thing we want to do is we want to ensure that we add the multi capture admin app. Okay, to installed apps before django.contrib.admin. So here I'm just going to copy this right here. You want to head on over to your Django project to your settings.py file to be specific. And here in your installed apps, as specified, you need to add it in before django.contrib.admin so that you can go ahead and add in that capture um, property. So just like follows. Great. So now you need to choose the engine that you want to use for capture. So of course, I just went through them. So we have simple capture, recapture, and recapture two. So you can decide which one you want to utilize. You can click on it here. So we're going to use simple capture here just to make it easy. As always, I will um, ensure that I add all the links to what I'm using in this video tutorial in the description below for your convenience. So before we can continue with um, Django multi capture admin, we need to install Django recapture and follow these steps just to get it installed. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and install Django Simple Capture. So what you can do is say pip install Django Simple Capture. There we go, so that's been installed. All right now we need to add Capture to our installed apps. So I'm gonna copy that. And in my settings.py file, I'm just gonna add it right here at the bottom and add that in. So make sure you've added that to your settings.py file. Next, we need to run python manage.py migrate to migrate all the default database files that are associated with Django Simple Capture. So what you can do is just say python manage.py migrate. All right, there we go. So make sure you've migrated everything. Then what you want to do here is you want to add in an entry in your urls.py file. So here we have it. So just this pass here you want to copy and you want to head on over to your urls.py file in your project. So that will be the urls.py file alongside settings.py. So you can go here and you just want to paste in 
capture here, so that specific URL. It uses the include function here, so just make sure that you have imported the include function from django.urls, from the django.urls module. Very important that you do that, just make sure you remember that. Okay, so we've got that all set up and ready to go. So as soon as we've done that, we can continue with the installation here of Django Multi-Capture Admin. So what we've done is we have gone ahead and set up the engine. And now what you need to do in your settings.par file, you need to specify the installed engine that you set. So whether it was simple capture, recapture, recapture to, you need to specify that. So here under Multi-Capture Admin, I'm going to copy this um, logic, head on to my settings.py file. And I'm just going to put this below my list of installed apps. Now by default, it says recapture2. So as you can see here, it has recapture2 here. If you've decided to install that or recapture, and in our case, it's simple capture. So we just want to change that engine name accordingly with what we set here. Now it is specific, so you need to put in the following. So it's going to be simple dash, and you, I just want to double check the spelling here. So it's capture. So it has a dash in between, capture. So make sure you add in this dash or else it's not going to work. So very important that you add that in. So make sure you have that set. Great, so now we can go to our admin page and what I like to do is just um, install, just ensure, okay, let me just run this from scratch. So python manage.py run server, excuse me. Okay, and I'm just gonna refresh the admin page and there we go. So we can now see we have a capture that we need to add in and it dynamically changes each time that I refresh the page. If for some reason you see this come up here, this uh, filter of sorts, you can just go ahead and click on the arrow here to just hide it. And if you refresh, you'll be good to go. So as you can see that dynamically changes and we're good to go. We have that capture now on our Django admin um, login page. Now to test this, what we can do is we can just stop our server and you want to create a super user. So I'm going to say Python manage.py create super user. I'm going to call it uh, Arno, uh, let's say uh, Arno2. Email, so I'm just going to skip, add in a password. That's what you need to add. Here we go. Okay, and now we can test the process. So go ahead and run your server. Just gonna refresh this again a few times just to see it still works and it does. And what you wanna do now is you just wanna enter in your credentials accordingly. Right, so let's test the capture. So of course, um, I'm gonna put something incorrect in. So I can see it says a V or UME. So I'm just going to just uh, put something random in and try to log in. It's going to say, please correct the error below. So we can see the check is working as it should. So let's go ahead and try it again. And this time we're going to put it in correctly. So I'll zoom in, of course, again. So we can see here we have W, D, Q, F. And let's attempt to log in. And there we go. So as you can see now, we now have protection and we now have the ability to log into the Django admin um, URL without any issues or whatsoever. We have extra protection in the form of a capture. So just something extra that I wanted to go over that I feel will be very useful. Um, so that is how you can go ahead and do so. Just make sure you need to use both of these packages and ensure that you at the end set the capture admin accordingly as it should be here so that you don't have any issues or problems when setting up everything as it should be. All right guys, so that's it for this video tutorial and as always, thank you for the support and I will be sure to attach the relevant links in the description below of this video. So again, thank you as always and I'll see you next time. Bye.